All right, so no more screwing around with inadequate tools from snow removal. Uh, I'm not taking a month to clear snow anymore, which is literally what we've been working on. So we got a big new bucket. Look at Kurt's big shit-eating grin there. Tired of the little tiny dirt bucket. Uh, just not doing it anymore. Just got all this at auction. We got ourselves an eight-foot snow pusher and a six-foot snow pusher behind there and a six-way dozer blade and um, a jack, uh, the auger for building fences in the summer. And Jason, if you're watching this, no more green tractor, buddy. And uh, we got a, a jackhammer for breaking up ice and an up and a, the six foot snow pusher. So, you know, all this stuff costs money, but uh, you know what else costs money? Uh, having equipment and, and guys working, uh, you know, six hours a day for a month to, to move snow from one giant snowfall. So this is gonna make things a lot more efficient on the farm. And uh, I, like, I like farming, I like working, but I don't like moving snow because it's a pointless job. Uh, it doesn't do anything except put me back to where I was. So spending weeks and weeks doing it just made me angry. So I just decided to spend the money and get the tools to, to speed this way up. So with the second skid steer now and uh, the proper blades and the proper snow removal equipment, the farm should uh, start running a lot more efficiently because God knows there's a lot more to do here. Uh, I need to hire at least three guys this summer. The list of things to do here is crazy and getting way bigger by the day so it's going to be a very very busy summer i'm going to have to hire help lots of it and uh, there's a lot of very cool things to do by the summertime we'll be up to probably around 160 head of cattle um, there's an enormous amount of building to do here uh, i want to graft 100 apple trees and, and just start my apple orchard uh, i've leased additional land uh, two acres here that needs to be cleared 450 acres in Point Mackenzie of grassland, another five acres of potato fields. Uh, uh, just to start having my inputs come in here. Uh, there is just May 1st through, oh, say October 1st is gonna be 100 hour weeks for me and 50 to 60 hours a week for my guys if I can push them that hard. And uh, just hire two, three, four guys because there's a lot of work to do around here. I'm, I'm gonna expand this farm in a big, big way, including this year, finally, after many, many years of no vegetable garden, because I've been building, this 50 by 100 spot here is going to be the market garden. And so we're gonna have this in full production this year, full production. I think I might convert this shed here into a little uh, little uh, shop, so to speak. I'm thinking about cutting a hole right there on this wall surface, putting in a window, and uh, turning this into a, a little market garden area. Uh, so it's only mid-January, but I can, feel spring coming in my bones I'm, I'm just at least to stay sane and uh because i really want to get to work it's only working you know 60 70 hours a week thing it just doesn't sit very well with me it's just not enough time for me to do the things that i want to do so it's going to start with the snow removal i'm tired of the snow it's total bullshit and i'm going to push it all out of the way starting right now all right and then we're going to work <laughs> 